bid to make 2024 the year for military families in Maryland, Governor Westmore unveiled part of his legislative agenda today for the upcoming session. As WMER2 News' Jeff Hager reports, the focus is on their families that pay a price for their service. During his service in the Army, Westmore did a tour in Afghanistan, and Maryland's First Lady, Dawn Moore, quickly took on new roles here on the home front. Your mom, dad, CEO, and therapist all rolled into one. You learn to juggle and you learn to lead. Other spouses also found their careers had to take a back seat to those who were serving their country. For over 20 years, I had the great pleasure of being an Air Force military spouse. For over 20 years, every three to four years, I had to reinvent myself as I looked for a new job. I reinvented myself with many years of stay-at-home mom duties. While Maryland's unemployment rate has fallen under 2%, it's three times higher among its military spouses. The governor announced he's personally putting forward a bill in the upcoming session to help change that. Our legislation allows employers to put a preference on hiring military spouses of active, of active duty service members. In the state of Maryland, we already allow for preferential hiring of veterans. Do you know what we don't have as of right now? That extended to military spouses. The governor is also sponsoring a bill which expands military leave for those serving in the National Guard or military reserves from 15 to 30 days per year. Moore says that would allow those serving their country to save some of their personal time off they currently use for training to finally be able to take a vacation with their families. In Annapolis, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.